am trying another recipe from this book. I screwed up the last one. I really do feel like that was my fault. Um, so I'm trying chickpea a la king from this book. So I got here some garlic and onion and mushrooms uh, ready to go. Uh, that's pretty much all the chopping. I'm going to have to do something with this, but that's going to be easy. The pasta cooks in the same pot. So I put in the onion and the mushrooms. It says to put the garlic in at the same time, but I'm always scared of overcooking my garlic. And this seems like it might be a little too hot anyway, so I'm going to throw it in a little. Side note, aren't these little bastards cute? <laughs> these little tiny little mushrooms? They're so cute. Uh... I added uh, chickpeas, pasta, vegetable stock, a bunch of uh, different spices. Get the cookbook if you want to make this. Um, yeah. You know, I just did one of my own personal pet peeves. I said spices. I actually did not add any spices yet. I added only herbs, no spices yet. You know I trust a recipe when I buy dun dun dun. The cool thing about this book is that it tells you what you can do, like another recipe you can use to use like my other half of a red pepper. So I'm prepping this Thai coconut. I should have said as I'm prepping this tofu for a Thai coconut soup. Um, this seems wrong, but I'm doing exactly what the recipe says. In went the parsley, peas, and red peppers, and nutritional yeast coming next. Um, yeah, am I revealing too much of this recipe? Oh, here it is. It's pretty much done. I threw in a touch of flour because I wanted it to be a little bit thicker. Um, I'm going to let it simmer down a little bit more and eat. View of that recipe, amazing. It was really super good. Uh, delicious, cheap, easy to make. Definitely making it again. Great. Loved it. Yes. Yes.